These cost $7, and these cost $120. And I'm going to figure out which basketball shorts are the best for basketball based on the quality and the price of the shorts. Starting out with the cheap $7 shorts. Now these shorts, I got these from a wholesale store, so they sell clothes for people who want to have a clothing brand. So let's put them on. <sighs> well, they are a little longer than I usually like my shorts to be. As you can see, I would have to pull them up and roll them to even make them semi what I like. They do have pockets. They are mesh. There is no other tags or, this is just a regular yarn string. Feels super cheap. You can see through my mesh shorts a little bit. You can see the pockets and you can see my black shorts. So they are kind of see-through. There's no double layer, it's a single layer mesh. Really flexibility wise in them, you can't really feel that they're cheap. They feel pretty decent. They're a little rough. But other than that, they feel pretty good. Like I don't mind the way they feel. They don't feel tight. They don't feel like they don't fit right. As I'm playing, they're starting to rise and feel a little weird. For $7, I don't know. We're gonna have to test out the rest of the pairs just to let you know of what I really think. Jumping from the cheap basketball shorts at around $10 and under, we have the Moola Kicks shorts. These are $50. Huh? And this is a mesh material. There is a double layer on these, so we have a silk in the inside. Also, this mesh is softer than the cheap shorts mesh, okay? Then we have the little tabs on the end. The quality of the strings feel better. Then on the inside, we have a Moola label. We got the Moola label as well over here. There's silk pockets as well, just like the texture on the inside. For these, I would definitely have to lift them up and roll them, maybe more than once, because they're super long, which I don't really prefer. But for $50, at least you can make them the length you want to make them. Honestly, they already feel better than the cheap ones. They feel super soft with the silk inside. I don't feel any chafing of my thighs. It just slides in between, which I like. These are definitely better than the cheap shorts. But the next shorts are $52. So for two extra dollars, let's see how we can improve. Next, I have on the Nike WNBA edition basketball shorts. Now these are again long, but they're not mesh like all the other shorts are gonna be. They're 100% polyester. They're super, super soft. Barely feels like I have shorts on, if I'm being honest. They're super lightweight. They also have pockets. The pockets are like a mesh, but a super soft mesh, way softer than the Moolah Kick shorts. And then in the inside, it's some type of fabric. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very soft. Okay. Then this has the tips as well. Feels like the strings are high quality. For two extra dollars in comparison to the Moolah Kick shorts, they're a good step up for $2. For me personally, I would raise them up, roll them, like them to be about right there. We're at the halfway mark. The next two pairs of basketball shorts are even higher than $52. I'm gonna rank all the shorts so I don't forget what they feel like. Cheap shorts, I'd give a 4.5 out of 10. The Moola Kick shorts, I'd give a six out of 10. These, for the price point, I'd give them a seven and a half out of 10. If I had to choose between the Moola Kick shorts and these shorts, I'd probably pick these. On to the next shorts. Next, we have the Bucket Squad shorts. Now, I'm a little biased when it comes to the Bucket Squad shorts. I love them. They're my go-to, usually for every day in all my videos. One, because Jesser, and everybody who recognizes the giant B on the side recognize Bucket Squad and Jesser. And I like being affiliated with that. These shorts are $58. These are a little bit more quality though, not gonna lie. They have the eyelets right here. Then you go on, these are super long strings, but the quality is super thick compared to the other shorts we did. The tips have Bucket Squad on them. There's a giant B right here. The quality is a thick double layer mesh pair of shorts with a high quality design on them. Can't go wrong with that. We also have the Bucket Squad tab on the back and we also have the double mesh pockets, all right? So now these are not my ideal length, again, but they are shorter than most of the other shorts that I've had. Nike's not coming out with designs like this. Just saying. I really like these shorts. It's definitely double layered. It's heavy quality. They're nice. For the price point, I have to give them an eight out of 10. Now onto the last shorts that could actually beat the Bucket Squad shorts would be Eric Emanuel shorts at the price 
of $120. What? Let's check them out. The most expensive basketball shorts and they're Eric Emanuel shorts. I know most of you are familiar with a lot of influencers and big people wearing these type of shorts. These are not mine. I actually borrowed these from a friend. However, we are testing. These compare to Bucket Squad because they have crazy, crazy designs that everyone loves, right? But let's test out the quality. Now, quality, it does feel like a double mesh. The same thing as the Bucket Squad shorts. They are longer in length, which I do not prefer, but these are for men. There uh, usually are some uh, strings, but it doesn't look like we have any here today. And um, if we flip, into the pocket, we still have that double mesh pocket like the Bucket Squad shorts. Remember that a basic Erico manual pair of shorts is $98. Now these are $120 retail. People are reselling them for $400. That is insane to me. A pair of shorts for $400. But we're gonna put them how I would wear them. And we're gonna test them out. They are super lightweight mesh compared to the Bucket Squad shorts. So far they feel soft. They feel comfortable. At the price point of $120, in comparison to the other shorts, I'm gonna have to drop these down. I give these Eric Emanuel shorts a six out of 10. That makes the Bucket Squad shorts the winner. <laughs> not sure if I'm biased or not, but go check out my other video popping up on the screen, cheap versus expensive basketball gadgets or cheap versus expensive basketballs. See you in the next video. Love you fam, peace. Hello.